हेलो व्यूअर्स आई एम मिस्टर दिलीप कुमार पाल रीडर इन पॉलिटिकल साइंस वेलकम्स माय बिलव व्यूअर्स टू ए वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट टॉपिक व्हिच इज द हाई कोर्ट ऑफ द स्टेट टुडेज वीडियो इज related or it relates with the 25 mcq multiple choice questions relating to high court of the state in this video my viewers will get 25 crucial informations regarding the high court through multiple choice questions with answers my viewers you know it very well that in the indian judicial system the high court is in the middle at the top is our supreme court just below the supreme court we have high court and below the high court we have the district courts and other lower courts so high court is very important in the indian judicial system so today we'll discuss 25 multiple choice questions with answers relating to high court of the state let us start my viewers the first multiple choice questions relating to high court of the state is that judges of high court are appointed by whom don't see here first you test your general knowledge so judges of high court are appointed by whom in the high court judges are found but the question is who appoint the judges options before you are four number one chief justice of the supreme court governor of the state prime minister and the last one is president the right answer is the president it means judges of the high court are being appointed by the president of our country okay very good then come to question number 2 which article says there shall be high court for every state in every state there is a high court but the question is which article says there shall be a high court for every state or there must be a high court for every state high court must be in a state which article says don't look here choices are four number 1 article 215 215 article 216 article 217 and article 214 the right answer is article 214 on the basis of article 214 there shall be a high court for every state okay my viewers now we come to the third question how many high courts are in our country in india there are how many high courts don't look here test your general knowledge options are four you we'll have to select one 18 high courts 20 high courts 24 high courts and 25 high courts the right answer is 25 high courts in our country in our country there are 25 high courts okay very good come to question number 4 why which is the largest high court in our country no doubt in our country there are 25 high courts but which high court is the largest high court it means in that high court there are more judges options before you kolkata kolkata high court 
दिल्ली हाई कोर्ट कर्नाटक हाई कोर्ट एंड अलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट द राइट आंसर इज अलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट अलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट इज द लार्जेस्ट हाई कोर्ट इन इंडिया ओके नाउ माय व्यूअर्स कम टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फाइव व्हाट इज द स्मॉलेस्ट व्हिच इज द स्मॉलेस्ट हाई कोर्ट इन इंडिया नो डाउट इन इंडिया देर आर ट्वेंटी फाइव हाई कोर्ट बट हुई इज द स्मॉलेस्ट हाई कोर्ट ऑप्शन बिफोर यू आर एगेन फोर ओडिशा हाई कोर्ट केरला हाई कोर्ट सिक्किम हाई कोर्ट एंड तमिलनाडु हाई कोर्ट द राइट आंसर इज सिक्किम हाई कोर्ट इट इज द स्मॉलेस्ट हाई कोर्ट इट इज ए लेस नंबर ऑफ जजेस ओके मीस व्यूअर्स कम टू क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स हुच इज द ओल्डेस्ट हाई कोर्ट इन इंडिया हुच इज द ओल्डेस्ट हाई कोर्ट इन इंडिया चॉइसेस आर अलाहाबाद हाई कोर्ट कर्नाटक हाई कोर्ट केरल हाई कोर्ट एंड कोलकाता हाई कोर्ट द ओल्डेस्ट हाई कोर्ट इज कोलकाता हाई कोर्ट इट केम इन टू एक्सिस्टेंस इन 1862 रिमेंबर इट इज द ओल्डेस्ट हाई कोर्ट इन आवर कंट्री देन माय व्यूअर्स कम टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 7 द रिमूवल प्रोसेस ऑफ हाई कोर्ट जजेस आर मेंशन इन व्हिच आर्टिकल judges of high court can also be removed they can be uh, impeached but the question is on the basis of which article which article prescribes the manner how to remove judges options are article 1 to 4 clause 1 number 2 article 1 to 4 clause 4 number 3 214 clause 1 number 4 215 Clause one. The right answer is one twenty four clause four. Question number seven. One twenty four clause four. Article one twenty four clause four speaks about the manner of impeachment of the judges of the high court. It points out the removal process of the judges of the high court. Okay, my viewers. Now you come to question number eight. Who gives oath to the judges of high court? before the before judges will come to the office they will have to take the oath but the question is who gives them oath who tender them oath options are again four president of india chief justice of supreme court prime minister of india governor of the state right answer is governor of the state question number 8 governor of the state it is the governor of the state who gives oath to the judges of high court okay my students now you come to question number 9 high court can issue writs on the basis of which article high court can issue writs for the enforcement of fundamental rights right Habeas corpus, mandamus, co-warranto, certiorari, prohibition on the basis of which article? Options before you are four. You have to select one. Options are Article two hundred twenty five, two hundred twenty seven, two hundred twenty six, and two hundred twenty four. Right answer is two twenty six. On the basis of Article two twenty six, High Court. high court has the power to issue writs for the protection of fundamental rights of people and the writs are habeas corpus mandamus co warranto certiorari and prohibition my dear viewers come to question number 10 who extends power of the high court very important question who extends power of the high court power of the high court can be extended but it is in the hands of which authority again option sir four i have to select one option sir president vice president supreme court and parliament the right answer is parliament parliament can enlarge 
पार्लियामेंट कैन एक्सपांड पास ऑफ द हाई कोर्ट ओके माय व्यूअर्स आउट ऑफ 25 क्वेश्चंस वी हैव ऑलरेडी सॉल्व 10 क्वेश्चंस एंड यू हैव गॉट 10 इंपोर्टेंट इंफॉर्मेशंस रिगार्डिंग हाई कोर्ट ओके माय व्यूअर्स बी प्रिपेयर्ड टू कम टू द 11th क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर 11 इट इज अ गुड गोइंग ओके माय बिलव्ड व्यूअर्स कम टू क्वेश्चन नंबर 11 जजेस ऑफ हाई कोर्ट टेंडर्स देयर रेजिग्नेशन टू हुम judges of the high court can give their resignation to whom who is the authority who will receive a resignation from the judges of the high court options are governor of the state prime minister parliament and president of india the right answer is president of india 11 they can give their resignation letter to the president of india Okay, my viewers, then come to question number 12. 12 question number is very important. Who can transfer a judge of high court from one high court to another? Judges of high court can be transferred. But who makes that transfer? Question number 12. Very important question before you. Options are, again for, you will have to choose one. Governor of the state, Advocate General of the state, President of India and Prime Minister. The right answer is President of India. 12. President of India. President of India has the power to transfer his jaws from one high court to another. Okay, my students, come to question number 13. Who can establish a common high court for one or more states? Because in India, common high courts are found. For example, for Goha, for Assam, Onatal Pradesh, Mizoram, Nagaland, there is only one high court. For Punjab and Haryana, there is one high court. So, but the question is, who can establish a common high court? Options are President, Parliament, Prime Minister, and Governor of the State. The right answer is Prime Minister, question number 13, the, sorry, the question number 13, Parliament. Parliament is the power to establish a common high court. Okay, my viewers, we have completed 13 questions, now we will come to question number 14. Okay, be ready to make advance. Question number 14, Calcutta High Court was established in which year? You know it very well that Calcutta High Court was the oldest High Court. But the question is, it was established in which year? Options are 1861, 1847, 1862 and 1848. The right answer is 1862. On 1862, Calcutta High Court was established. Then my viewers come to question number 15. How many high courts have common jurisdiction over one or more state and union territories. In Odisha, there is only one high court. In Bihar, there is only one high court. But the question is, how many high courts have common jurisdiction over one or more state and union territories? How many high courts have common jurisdiction? Options are, Seven high courts, six high courts, seven, uh, eight high courts, and four high courts. The right answer is six high courts. Six high, six high courts in India have common jurisdiction. Okay, my viewers, then now you come to question number 16. It is very important question. The question is, what is the high court was established in which year? Question number 16. What is the High Court is, was established in which year? Options are four again 1947, 1949, 1948, 1950. The right answer is 1949. Question number 16, 949. In 1949, Odisha High Court was established. Then come to question number 17. Nice question. High Court. Kolkata High Court has common jurisdiction over whom? 
in Calcutta there is a high court but it has jurisdiction over some area which area options are Puducherry, Lakhadip Island, Andaman and Nicobar Island and Chandigarh the right answer is 17 Andaman and Nicobar Island 17 Andaman and Nicobar Island Calcutta High Court has jurisdiction over West Bengal Edurez, Andaman and Nicobar Island ok we have completed 17 questions out of 25 we have completed 17 questions so 17 important informations regarding High Court are now in your hand so you will be you will feel proud about it now question number 18 Bombay High Court has jurisdiction over Maharashtra and which other areas Bombay High Court has jurisdiction over Maharashtra and over which area it is a very tricky question options are Dadar and Nagar Haveli number two Daman and Dew number three Goa you will have to select one which one Dadar and Nagar Haveli Daman and Dew and Goa the right answer is all these areas there is not a single one here it has area over 18 Dadar and Nagar Haveli Daman, Dew and Goa ok so now you come to question number 19 Guwahati High Court has jurisdiction over which area Guwahati High Court in Guwahati there is also High Court it has jurisdiction over which area you will have to select one out of four ok number one Assam number two Nagaland number three Mizoram number four Arunachal Pradesh and number five all the above the right answer is all the above 19 all the above Assam Nagaland Mizoram Arunachal Pradesh Pradesh ok so now we come to question number 20 what is the high court is situated in which city what is the high court is situated in which city question number 20 the right answer I think you know options are Bhubaneswar Katak Ghurda and Sambalpur the right answer is Katak question number 20 Katak ok we have completed question number 20 then still 5 multiple choice questions with answers are left ok very good my dear viewers come to question number 21 which high court has the largest jurisdiction name the high court which has largest jurisdiction it has wide area options refer you Guwahati high court Odisha high court Calcutta high court and Bombay high court the right, right answer is Guwahati high court question 21 Guwahati High Court. Then come to question number 22. Who appoints acting chief justice of the High Court? Who appoints the acting chief justice of the High Court? For example, the chief justice of the High Court is suffering from some disease. So he, he is incapable to carry on his work. So an acting chief justice will be chief just an acting chief justice will have to be appointed. Who appoints the acting chief justice? Acting chief justice of the high court. Which authority? The options are Prime Minister, Governor, President and Chief Minister. The right answer is 22 President. President appoints acting chief justice of the high court. Now, my dear viewers, come to question number 23. Very, very important. Expenses of the high court are charged from which fund of the state the expensive the expenses or the expenditures of the high court come from which fund very important just think and answer options are here 
I'll give you here three options, not four. Knowing I'll give you three options, not four. Options are consolidated fund of the state, chief minister's fund, contingency fund of the state. If you say I will again give the fourth one, governor's fund. The right answer is the 23 contingency fund of the state. 23, con sorry, consolidated fund of state, not contingency, consolidated fund of the state. From the consolidated fund of the state, expenses of high court come. Then my viewers come to question number 24. What is the retirement age of judges of the high court? In which age they retire? Option sir, 4, 62, 64, 63, 65. The right choice is 65. Now judges of the high court retire at the age of 20, 65. The last question awards for you, which is very, very important. Again, you test your general knowledge. Last question is, which court has power of superintendence over lower courts within the state? Which court has the power of superintendence of lower courts within the state? Option, sir, again, I will give you here three. You will have to select one. Options are Supreme Court, number two, District Court, and number three, High Court. The right answer is High Court. It means the High Court has the power over all the lower courts within the state. Okay, viewers, in this video, we have solved as many as 25 multiple choice questions with answer. I think my viewers are will be benefited. Those students who are sincere, they are attentive to their career. I am sure that this video will be very much helpful to them. I request my viewers to subscribe my channel so that you will be benefited because better videos relating to academic sphere will be available to you. Thank you my viewers, I am Mr. Dilip Marpal. Wish you goodbye. Again we will be here in another video. Goodbye to all.